So we're here with Savio and we just went for a little ride and he's the owner of the very, very first race car to receive the rear force turbo. So... Well, I'll tell you what, we'll know a lot more Sunday when we'll be at Sebring testing the car there and, and beating the Corvettes and the Porsches that will be there. And I know there is a fact because I already run with them, but I was behind on the straight lines. This thing is a beast. And Jay charging 4,000 for this is cheap because I don't know how much money you got to spend to get what you get. You know, you can get your toy, but you can get still everything with it because you gave up something to have this. And I gave up a 500 horsepower Corvette, okay? That Corvette was a beast, but I hoped that the Miata would be more, I would say, economical to race because it doesn't beat up on the brakes and suspension like the Corvette does. Um, it will be easier to tow because it's lighter, okay? And you, as much as I like the Corvette and I was crazy about a Corvette, I had had two Corvettes. I'm passionate about the Miata, but the Miata is lacking. Hey, for four grand, <laughs> it's not lacking anymore. And I'll tell you, seeing what happened to this car, I cannot even imagine what is the special force turbo because that thing is just, I don't know, a killer because there's no way that you get out this. <laughs> it's, just, it's just incredible. And I, and I tell you, I'm a car dealer. I drove a, a Crossfire, which has 200 something horsepower. And I kept that car for a while, a six speed, because I, I, I like that power. And I would drive that car dreaming of my Miata having the engine on the mm. track. And I tell you, now I have it. And I tell you, I have more. Because even though that, that, that Crossfire was fast, what we drove today, that is crazy fast. What did, so, you, what did you like about the runs? Because we ran about three, four wide open throttles in second, third, four, five. The car just pulled. I mean, the car never stopped pulling. And and Jay said that he saw the speed at 100 or something. I don't know. I was just looking at the streets. I mean, I obviously didn't want to die. That was in Mexico. <laughs> that was in Mexico. But, uh, you know, the car, if the car went that fast, as he said, we were only a few blocks. I mean, I'll tell you, <laughs> you guys want to know the real thing? Wait until Sunday because I want to know the time at the track because I know my Corvette time and I know my Miata time and I know as of right now and this is a fact this is not a joke you know you guys saw the picture of this car when it first came here if you guys look at Chin Motorsports last year you're gonna see this car being all kinds of tracks for ChinMotorsports.com so I know what I'm talking about I want to know what this car will do because this car will beat my 500 horsepower Corvette and I know as a fact from what we drove today it's, it's not joke, it's not makeup, it's not, I'm not saying shit to, to sell nothing, I don't sell this. I pay for it, okay? So I'm telling you, I can't wait for Sunday. I'm gonna dream about this shit until Remember. Sunday, okay? Well, very good, and we'll be there with Josavia at Sebring. Looking forward to it. And now let's take a look around. It is a really, really nice hey, that is the truth. race car. It's the truth. It's and it's number 13. It's, it's nothing. Now we're gonna hear it from the back as he loads up on his trailer. <laughs> 